Howdy guys, welcome to the channel, my name's Matt. Now this video should be basically just about the D11s again. Uh, I'm trying to separate the videos between D11 and the farming side. Um, now that I've sort of got a bit of a rhythm up with the editing and things like that, getting the footage, um, it is a bit easier to separate them. So that's sort of what I'm endeavouring to do. And also remember, if you like the videos, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And uh, you can also hit the bell notification. And that way you can be notified whenever we upload a new video. So what is happening basically is the dozers Tiny 1 and Tiny 2 are still at the lease block working away there. So there's a bit of footage of that in this video. Um, Tiny 3 is still um, just sitting around doing nothing. So like we explained earlier, Tiny 3, we need to swap stuff from Tiny 2 to Tiny 3 and all of that um, before we can really use Tiny 3. And then when Tiny 2 is moved on, um, yeah, it won't have all the GPS and that on it. So we need to get that all swapped out. But the problem is, is we've got a lot of work happening um, that we need the GPS system for. So it won't be till after we've sort of finished this um, busy time with the dozers. Um, and then we'll probably be able to use Tiny 3 more then. So that is the rough plan. But like any plan, it is more than likely to change. Anyway, we'll get into the video. I am at the lease block and I've just had to repair the uh, little cable on the, or replace the cable on the base station here. So this little plug here, um, you might be able to see that's the old one. So I don't know, sometimes I think there's a bit of cowboy operation happening here. But we do have one of the dozers there, I believe that's Tiny 2. And way off into the distance we have Tiny 1. Um, so this is the work that we're doing at the lease block, um, putting in new contours. There's a few trees there that have had to be cleared because of the, um, that's where the new contours will be going or we need to push up the old contours and a lot of the trees are growing on the old contours so they're not actually that old and they're, they're classified as regrowth. So yeah, it's um, all happening here. Well guys, another lovely morning. Um, we had a little bit of rain, but not enough to really stop much. But, as you can see, I'm here at Tiny One, and there's been reports that Phil has had too much pudding, and he's broken the seat. So, I'm gonna have a bit of a look here, see what's broken. To try and work out whether we can just pull this out and fix it or whether we need a new seat um, yeah it is a bit tricky to see but uh, regardless i think we're gonna have to pull that out um, i think it's just four bolts and a lot of maneuvering to get them out a really small door but we'll see how we go
Well, we got it out. It's actually not as dirty as I thought it would be back there. But uh, yeah, that's a fairly hefty seat to wiggle through a small opening. Uh, but yeah, we'll go and have a look at it, see what we can find. So this is where the action is. You can see Robbo in the grader up there. Um, he's just tidying off a couple of the new banks that went in. You can see Brad here, he's just pushing in an old bank. Um, so you can see they're quite small, um, easy to blow out. So um, yeah, there's some new banks going in, which I'm imagining this line here um, is the one where the new bank's gonna go. And they'll all feed in uh, back to here which is where the waterway runs down there past where the vehicles are there and where those trees are so i've got yeah a couple of new banks one two and three i think that's what's happening here it'll be good to um yeah they, these banks here had all blown out multiple times and then it just cut was cutting away um yeah straight through the middle of the paddock so we don't want that at all so hopefully this uh this fixes a few of those issues we do have over that way, over this hill, there's a few more banks happening there. And um, yeah, then we've got over the west side, which um, yeah, I think will be happening in maybe a couple of days. So I might be able to get back here and, and um, have a bit of a look at that when that's happening. But yes, Phil's not using his days at the minute unless he wants to stand. So we better go and hurry up and fix this seat. Right, so we've briefly inspected it um, and you can see there that is not good so we're gonna just I'll have to grind that back a bit and then yeah see if I can weld that up without melting the rest of the seat Here we go. Doesn't look necessarily too pretty, but I think it'll work. Um, only minorly melted one of the air hoses here for the lumbar support, but I've uh, just been able to wedge another bit of pipe inside of that, so hopefully that'll be fine. Anyway, we'll um, stick this all back together. Everything seems to be working as it should, and uh, then we'll have to go back in the dozer. Alright, the seat's in there. Seems to be all good. See how long that one lasts. But yeah, we've got Brad again um, doing something there. I think he's uh, cutting the line for the, where the new bank's going to go. Um, so you can see I've got this one here. This with the, this, I'm on the other side of that hill to where I was before. Um, and this, these are the couple of banks that are going in here. So Phil started this one and I'm not sure whether there'll be many here that need filling in i think there is a couple of small banks that might just need to be yeah just just leveled off a little bit um but yeah at least this way the water should all uh, from this hill all come down through here and into this waterway that goes along the road there
hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think we should probably be starting sowing again, just depending on what this rain does. They're forecasting rain, so who knows? But after that, if we haven't got too much rain, um, we should have an opportunity to start sowing some linseed. So that will be happening maybe in the next video. So uh, make sure to tune in for that. But anyway, we'll catch you then.